Hi, I'm Helen Coupland Smith with Time 2 Resources. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate using percentages. Qualifications will look for you to demonstrate one of nine quantitative skills. QS2 is the ability to calculate, use, and understand percentages and percentage changes. Percentage changes are covered in a separate video. In this video, we're going to look at four things how to express one number as a percentage of another, how to calculate a percentage of a number how to increase a number by a percentage and how to decrease a number by a percentage. We we'll use percentages in many areas of business, economics and other subjects including how to do tax and accountancy calculations, completing financial documents, interpreting market research results or looking at economic data. Let's look at the first of these, how to express one number as a percentage of another. For example, I scored 12 out of 16 in a test but in order to know what grade that would be, I need my answer as a percentage. So I would take 12, divide it by the 16, and multiply it by 100. We always multiply by 100 when we're going to express an answer as a percentage. So 12 divided by 16, multiplied by 100, would give us 75 cents. Let's look at a second example. 80 out of 120 participants in the survey said they were very satisfied. So 80 divided by 120, multiplied by 100, gives us 67%. So all we do is take one number, divide it by the other, and multiply it by 100 to get our percentage. Let's look at our second skill, how to calculate a percentage of a number. In order to do this, we're going to use a table to help us. 100% is the whole, therefore we express this as 1. If we want to calculate 80% of this, we want to know what is 0.8 of 1. Therefore, we would multiply it by 0.8. If we look at a range of percentages, we can apply this concept. So if we wanted to know what is 65% of the whole, we would multiply it by 0.65. So it's always 0. followed by the percentage. Why not pause the video whilst you fill in the rest of this table? How did you get on? Now we have our completed table, we can see that if we want to calculate 65% of a number, we would multiply the original number by 0.65. To calculate 48%, we would multiply it by 0.48 and so on. Let's just look at the numbers on the right of our table. If we're looking for a percentage which is less than 10%, then it will be 0.0 followed by the percentage we are looking for. So to calculate 8%, we multiply by 0.08. If we were to multiply by 0.8, this would give us 80%. 0.08 will give us 8%. So we have to take care. Let's have a look at an example. 600 teenagers were asked to try a new cereal bar. 65% said they would buy it, so we take the original number, 600, and multiply it by 0.65. We get the answer, 390 teenagers have said they would buy the new cereal bar. We might use this as part of the analysis of our market research results. A second example, a salesperson receives 12.5% commission on all sales made per month. This would be an example of a financial motivator. Last month they made £45,000 in sales, so we take the original figure, the whole, £45,000, and we multiply it by 0.125. Our salesperson is going to receive £562.50 in commission. So the important thing to remember here is we multiply the original by 0 0.0 and then the percentage that we wish to calculate. Our third skill was to increase a number by a percentage. To do this, we want to include the original number plus increase it by a set amount. So if we wanted to increase a number by 50%, we would multiply it by 1.5. The 1 means we're including the original amount. The 0.5 is going to increase this by 50%. Let's have a look at a numerical example. The rent on a warehouse was £20,000 per month but the landlord has increased this by 8%. We take the original amount, the £20,000, and multiply it by 
the 1 includes the original amount in our answer, the 0 0.8 increases it by 8%. Our new rent is 21,600. Rent is the reward for labour if we were looking at the four factors of production. A second numerical example. The manager's annual salary was £45,000 and they received a 10% pay rise. So we take the original figure, the 45000 and multiply it by 1.1. 1. 1. 1 means we include the 45000 in our answer. The point 0.1 means that we have increased it by 10%. The new annual salary is £49,500. If we want to decrease the number by percentage, maybe we're offering a discount or a product is going into the sale, then we're going to use a slightly different method. Let's think about this logically. 100% is equal to 1. So if we wanted to decrease the number by 80%, what we really want to know is what is 20% of this number. Therefore, we would multiply it by 0.2. If we wanted to decrease a number by 65%, what we really want to know is what is the remaining 0.35 or the remaining 35% of this number. Why not pause the video whilst you fill in the rest of this table? How did you get on? Hopefully we've got these numbers. So if we wanted to decrease a number by 30%, what we actually want to know is what is the remaining 70%, so we would multiply it by 0.7. If we only wanted to decrease the number by 2.5%, we want to know what is the remaining 97.5%, so we would multiply our number by 0.975. Let's look at a numerical example. We're going to consider a coat that was £150 but has been reduced by 25% in the sale. So we're going to take the £150, the original price of the coat, and multiply it by 0.75 to reduce the price by 25%. We now have the coat price as £112.50. A second example. A customer spent £1,200. The supplier offered a 10% discount for cash payment. So the customer is actually going to pay less as a reward for paying in cash. So we take the original value of the bill, £1,200, and we multiply it by 0.9 to find out the 90% that the customer still has to pay after the 10% discount has been applied. The customer has to pay £1,080. Businesses may offer customers a discount for paying in cash, particularly if they have cash flow problems. So, here's four quick questions to see if you can do these four things. Why not pause the video now whilst you try these four calculations? How did you get on? The first one. 3 out of 24 employees were absent yesterday, so what is this as a percentage? 3 divided by 24, remember times 100 equals 12.5%. In a 130 seat cinema screen, 80% of the seats were full. This is what we would call the cinema's capacity utilisation. So how many customers were there? 130 times by 0.8. 104 of the 130 seats had customers occupying them. The entrepreneur sold 660 bags in March. They sold 25% more in April. What were their sales in April? So we want the 660 bags increased by 25%. So we multiply it by 1.25. This gives us a sales by volume of 825 bags. The final one, the bus ticket is normally £3.50. OAPs are offered a 20% discount. What is the bus fare for an OAP? So we want to reduce our bus ticket by 20%. So we want to know what is 80% of the value of the bus ticket. So 
£3.50 times 0 0.8 equals £2.80. Hopefully you got those four answers correct. If not, pause the video again whilst you go through and check how to do these calculations. So what were the key points? Our first one is that if we want to express one number as a percentage of another, we take number one, divide it by number two, and multiply it by 100. For our other three calculations, we're going to use a table. In order to calculate a percentage of number, the number is multiplied by the decimal that shows the proportion of the whole number we want to calculate. So if we wanted to calculate 90% of a number we would multiply it by 0 0.9. If we wanted to calculate 30% of a number we would multiply it by 0 0.3 and so on. If we want to increase a number by a percentage the number is multiplied by one point something. Here we have a number multiplied by 1.2 so we are increasing the number by 20%. If we wanted to increase the number by 8% we would multiply it by 1.08. If we want to decrease a number by a percentage, the number is multiplied by 0.8. So this would be if we wanted to decrease a number by 20%, because in terms of what this means, if we're decreasing a number by 20%, we actually want to know what is 80% of that number. Thank you for watching and listening to this video on understanding how to calculate percentage changes. If you're studying A-level business, you might be interested in looking at our Know Your Number postcards. The link for the eBay shop is given to you in the description box below. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time to Resources YouTube channel?